Chin liposuction. Now, this has kind of become a more of a popular uh, procedure requested in the last uh, couple of years than it has been before. And I've always thought it's a really great procedure for the right candidate. And it's just, it's not liposuction of your whole chin and your whole mandible. It's really just focused in this area. And when patients are asking for it, they're always, they always turn to the side and they're like, I need to get rid of this. Well, that makes a huge difference. When you lipo that little amount of fat in there, it can make a huge difference to your profile, so when you look from the side. But I think something that patients don't necessarily appreciate before they have the liposuction is it makes a difference to how your face looks from front on. And so if you get rid of that little bit of fat that's there, it can really define your chin, make your chin look different, and make your overall face look thinner. So chin liposuction is a really powerful tool. What it won't do is it won't remove skin. And so you have to realize that when you bend your neck down and you feel like, oh, I've got extra skin, you need to have that extra skin in order to be able to bend. It's just like skin in your elbow or skin on the back. You have to have that skin. So if your primary problem is just skin, then lipo of the chin area is not gonna help. But if you have good quality skin and you have some fat under your chin, it's a really great, great, great operation because it's very powerful in what the results will do and it has a noticeable effect. The other thing is that the recovery from the chin is very easy. I don't really have patients wear big, long time with chin straps and all these fancy headgear and all that stuff. I really just have them wear it for 48 hours and then take that off. I don't think it needs to be worn a long time. It's not very painful. So of all the things that I do, Chin Lipo has the easiest, most minimal recovery. The scarring is really small because it's just a small incision right under the chin. And almost every patient has a little scar there from when we were kids. I think most of us fall at some point. We're little toddlers. We wipe out and we bust our little thing open. We have a little scar here. So usually I can just place it in a scar. And if there's no scar there, if you were uh, you know, treated uh, with kid gloves growing up, you never fell, then there's always a little crease there. And so the, I can usually make an incision in that little crease. So chin lipo I think is awesome. Uh, and a lot of people benefit from it. And a lot of people are very satisfied with chin lipo.